Throughout the year 2000, the Camp David final peace talks between the Palestinians and Israelis limped along. In August, they finally broke down. Tensions rose, and in September, a provocative visit to the Al-Aqsa Mosque sparked the second Palestinian Intifada, or uprising. Gaza's always been hemmed in, surrounded by Israel. Under the iron grip of the Israeli Defense Force, it's become a virtual prison. No one is allowed in or out without their permission. Gaza is under siege. Europe victimized the Jews. They were in the Auschwitz. Of course, that's terrible. But in the same time, when they decided to flee, they came to this safe place called Palestine. But the fact they came to Palestine, they victimized another people. The Palestinians claim that there are four million Palestinian refugees. If Israel were to uh, uh, absorb only a part of it, this would obviously uh, bring the end of a political entity called Israel. And therefore, this amounts to a committing suicide. Two sticking points in the peace negotiations were the refugees' right of return and the control of Jerusalem. These led to protests and clashes. Almost daily, children go to throw stones at the checkpoints. Many get shot. At Al Auda Hospital, near the main border checkpoint, 15 boys have been admitted with gunshot wounds today. Uh, somebody told him that his younger brother was at the checkpoint throwing stones. His younger brother ran away from him. And as he was hiding, he received a bullet. I would say two bullets, actually. She tries to kill them not to go. She tries to prevent them not to go, but they go. I'm afraid someone will convince my children to go to Al Montar or Nazarim Junction or any point where the Israeli army is present and they get hit and killed. That terrifies me. It has become completely unquestionable that the army has a right to shoot a children who throw stones and uh, those stones don't even tickle the army beton blocks which make this military post.